Hi, this is Christy with Guidepost and Wellness. Welcome back for all you return viewers and welcome to anybody that's new to the channel. We talk about a lot of different things uh, that are related to wellness on this channel. And today what I wanted to talk about is something that is called, believe it or not, we call it a primary food. These are the other areas in your life, things that nourish you in ways outside of just eating. So eating is actually a secondary food. There's so many other areas in your life to, to balance out that we call those your primary foods. Because you can eat a perfect diet, but if the rest of your life is out of balance, then you may not have optimal wellness. So what I wanted to talk about can be called the circle of life. I've also had it called the balance wheel. But the key thing is, is that you want to take a look at where you are um, at different places in your life. And since this is the beginning of the fourth quarter of the year, I thought I would turn this into a quarterly exercise because that which we focus on, um, you know, will be changed. And if we're not focusing on different things, then, you know, they won't be. So I thought this would be a good time to look at this. And then I'm going to make some future videos as well that talk about taking a look at the areas that you want to improve and setting an intention um, to do that. Um, also, if you are interested in setting specific goals, then uh, I will have a video that's about setting SMART goals as well. I think it's important to realize that you can't work on everything in your life all at once. So even though we're going through this exercise of looking at where we are in these various areas of our life, that doesn't it's not designed to overwhelm us. Um, we want to come to this with a spirit of self-love. Um, we don't want to judge ourselves in any way, shape, or form. Um, we're not focusing on the future when we do this. We're not looking at the past. We're just looking at where we are right now and where we see opportunities that we want to improve. And the thing is, is you could take a look at these areas in this circle of life and you may cross out some of them that you don't find as relevant. Um, or you may substitute or break them down into even smaller areas. For example, maybe finances. You want to save for a house and, and you want to um, put away for a, a college fund for your child. Then maybe you'll break those down into little subcategories as well. Anything goes. There's, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Again, the key though is to do it with, with love in your heart and, and not any type of judgment. So when you look at uh, each of the categories that I have on here, um, for one can be spirituality. And this is something that is very broad, broad enough for folks uh, that may not be regular churchgoers, um, that may not have any type of background or knowledge in spirituality and want to learn about it. If that were the case, then you would take and put your um, your dot closer to the center here, um, showing that you've got room and opportunity to grow. Creativity can be all kinds of creativity. Not everybody can draw or sing or dance, but there are ways to be creative, whether it's a do-it-yourself type of project or creating a web page or writing a book. Anything like that can be a sign of creativity. Finances, I think those are, are pretty straightforward, but again, if you have subcategories you want to put in there, go right ahead. Career, this is an area where um, you may right now not have any type of specific career goals or you may be comfortable where you are, that's fine as well. You may be looking for a second career, whatever goes. This is your balance wheel. Uh, do it whatever way um, makes you comfortable and uh, document it, put the date on the side, put any little notes if you want to, it's, it's yours. And then we'll come back um, after the uh, right around the beginning of the of the year, and we'll take a look at this as well. Education. This doesn't necessarily mean formal education going back to school. It might be just reading some books uh, about topics that you want, or watching some YouTube videos and learning how to do something new. Health. Obviously, that's something that we talk about a lot. But health is tied integral integrally to all these other areas of well-being in your life as well. Physical activity. I just started, uh, some of you may have uh, joined up for the uh, Sit Less, Move More uh, challenge that I put forward for the month of October or anytime that you're watching this you want to get started in increasing your level of physical activity. 
And that doesn't mean uh, starting with Power 90X, it just means taking a look at where you are and uh, improving that. Home cooking, uh, one of the things that I, I do believe that we eat better when we're cooking at home, um, more whole foods, um, less less things in the food that we don't know that are in there, we can control it better, plus we can control our quantities and, and cost. It, 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 it's a lower cost option. Your overall home environment, uh, do you want to do some renovations? Um, do you want to paint something? What, whatever that might be. Relationships, this could be an area that you want to do some subsets of. You want to do your relationship with your significant other, your relationship with your parents, with friends, it could be any um, of those. So you can you can break that down into subsets as well. Social life um, can be defined a lot of different ways. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, going out and, and to a dance party every week. Your social life might just be that you want to go out to dinner with some friends once a month. Whatever works for you, however you want to define it. And then joy, overall joy. Where how happy are you? with your life? How satisfied are you with your life? Um, and, and that is something that's important to note. Um, we're not talking about material things here. We're just talking about the overall satisfaction that's coming from within. Do you have an opportunity there to increase your joy? So take a look at this. Set aside a few minutes. Um, I'm going to try to put a link for a copy of the Circle of Life that I've got demonstrated here. Um, a PDF file that you can um, you can pull up. So again, just really set aside some quiet time. You don't want to do this when you're distracted and don't worry about setting actual goals just yet. Just figure out where are you and where do you want um, you know where do you where would you want to be and maybe highlight put some stars next to the areas that are your priority to work on. For example, your your social life might right now with uh, with social distancing and things that are going on that may be less of a priority for you than maybe your personal creativity. But take a look at where you are in all these areas, document it, put the date, put some notes here, and then stay tuned to my future videos where we're going to talk about declaring your intentions in the areas that you're choosing to work on for this quarter, and then future uh, videos as well talking about setting up some goals which tie into developing those healthy habits and things of that nature as well. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. I'd like to hear your comments if you, any of you have used a circle of life or a balance wheel in the past. I'd love to hear your comments. Other versions of this, I'm sure there are more out there online. I'd love to get your feedback. Take care and more to come. Be well.